fish rising over there again. <clears throat> but there's also, you guys can probably see them, but there's a log right here. I'm trying to just hit right along that log because right down there is where I missed that bigger fish with a terrible hook set. He was laying right by that log. Oh yeah, this is a good fish. I do not want him going on that log, which I think he's already on. Get away from that, dude. Get away from that. Oh, I did a good job of landing him, but not as big as I thought originally on the stonefly. Nice 16 incher though. Eh, maybe 15. Thick fish. Sweet. That might have been the riser. All right. So, of course, the GoPro messed up, but I don't know if we got that on film or not. So, I'll have to find out in editing. But we just got a nice fish, as you guys saw, because I, I know I got it on the main camera. But he kind of took uh, on the swing a little bit. Uh, it was kind of just like maybe right at the end of the drift. So it was maybe just coming up off the bottom. And uh, that was the tag. So that was the red blow to, or the, uh, the red dart. There's another fish. See, that's, I'm telling you, that's, that's the key is when it's pressured like this, you just got to get over to the bank. <clears throat> it's not that the fish, I am honestly like a, a sort of a belief. I mean, pressured fish obviously get smarter, but I feel like the pressure just kind of moves them to different places. It doesn't keep them from eating your fly. It doesn't keep them from learning your flies. I mean, fish they have tiny brains. They're not, they don't remember. And if they do, I'll be pleasantly surprised, but I just don't think that they remember what flies they've been seeing, even the, even the old fish. I think they get uh, pressured, so they, they push over into places that aren't getting fished or no one's walking through. So if, you, if most people are just waiting halfway out, they're sitting all along that far bank. I don't even know if we've caught a fish mid-river. I think we got one fish mid, like, it wasn't even mid-river. Is more of like it was still a far side, but a little bit more towards the the middle. Holy cow! <clears throat> that fish went cruising up out of the water. It's a nice sized fish, though. Oh yeah, really nice fish. He's uh, on the stonefly. I actually, for a second there, I thought that was a, a smallmouth. <laughs> That's probably the best fish we've landed, actually. There's that fish. He's ready to go. <clears throat> right over there by those branches. That looks like a perfect lie. And I was right. <clears throat> He just went through my legs and came back. Um, yeah, it looks like he's on the tag. Yep, 
on the red dart. Today is a phenomenal day. Probably actually better than the uh, the caddis day where they were all hatching a few videos back. But I mean, they're not hatching like they were then, but they're eating like they were. And I have a lot. I caught them in the morning. Last time I caught that hatch sort of in the evening, so I didn't have a lot of time to fish it. Right there in that boulder seam. <clears throat> I was just getting ready to say, we just turned around to fish this seam behind us. And as soon as I toss it up in there, I got a fish. Looks like stonefly eater, maybe. Yep. Get up here. Get up here. Nice little 12 incher. Another fish. <clears throat> We're getting up into that riffle I was talking about. I had a feeling that this riffle would just be stacked with fish. And looking like it might be. All right, this is looking like probably the best fishing I've had this spring, this year so far even. Beats that winter nymphing day that we had a heck of a day. I'll tell you that. That's probably like a 14 incher. I'm pretty sure a fish literally just rose like two feet in front of me. I don't think that was him. It, that fish that rose was like literally right here. Let's keep you out of there. There's probably more fish over there. All right, so at this point, I'm, uh, I mean, we're catching a ton of fish, so I'm just gonna kinda quick release them. The smaller ones, I'm just gonna hope maybe that they pop off before we get them in. But if I do get them in, we'll show them to the camera here. They are on the feed up in this run. Ah, uh, you know what? He's got my tag nymph all tangled up. All tangled up. Actually, you know what? It just came untangled, that's good. 13 inches, maybe? On the stonefly. All right, guys, there. I just pulled a, I got a snag on a log and I pulled my fly out and I pulled the log out with it, and this is what I found on it. But it makes sense why they're taking stoneflies. I found a few stoneflies. This is the biggest one that was on there, though. Go ahead and let him back in. All right, I didn't realize the uh, camera wasn't rolling, but I just, well, they're hooked up here. I was just getting ready to pull out my fly, but uh, I was just getting ready to say I missed a fish over there. And then this is like the very next cast almost. Another stonefly eater. <clears throat> Little 10 incher. So I'm actually up in uncharted territory right now, uncharted to me. Um, so I'm actually really liking it up in here. Might uh, come back here sometime soon and just walk straight up to here skip that section that i've fished before and uh fish this more <clears throat> but i see some fish rising here and there and not not a lot of caddis or, or anything coming off uh it's sort of slowed down with the bugs but i mean as far as i'm concerned the bite has still been pretty consistent i don't think i'm gonna be able to fish that far bank at least right here it's just too deep Probably just gonna keep fishing until the fishing slows down or stops. All right, so I think I actually am gonna get to fish this bank. Found like a little rock bar out in the middle here. There's a fish. <clears throat> Ooh, 
this is some pretty deep water through here. I've, I have a feeling that there's a giant lurking in here somewhere. Looks like there's a little drop off here. Might be a good fish. Things on the tag. He's not giant, but nice, like 15 incher. Nice colors on him. Actually, I'd probably put him more around 13 inches, but. Yeah, he took the tag. I'll tell you what, he slammed that tag though. He just fell out of the net. Unfortunately, I didn't get to show you guys. You could see there's like a little drop off here. I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but. There's one. On the stone fly. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of just fishing for you guys. I mean, I've talked over um kind of my strategy for today and we're just still doing that same thing and you guys know my rig if you don't know the rig you can go and check out the uh the video i'll link it above here of my how i set my rod up and the two flies i have a fly tying video for the stone pheasant but i don't for the for egan's red dart but i mean you can find that pattern anywhere on the internet All right, <clears throat> hooked up with one there on the swing. Actually looks like it's a decent fish. On the stone fly. Yeah, this is a nice fish, probably 15, 16 pushing. <clears throat> I had to sharpen up the hook point of my stone fly because this is the last one I have. Well, the last size 12 that I have. And it was getting pretty dull, so I ran it on the hook hone. Hopefully it can last a little bit longer. Oh, that was a fish. Um, but if not, I mean, I'm okay with throwing a size 10 on because that stonefly that we found in the water, that thing was huge. So I don't know if they're actually taking it because of the size. I think they're just kind of taking it because it's a stonefly imitation. So I've switched, I'm over to, I'm over in the bank here, fishing out because uh, it actually got pretty deep out there. And this is our first fish from fishing over here on the bank. Another 12, 14 incher. It's a pretty nice fish. And of course he popped off. When I'm tucked up tight against the bank like this, what I like to do, I like to do a lot of water loaded casts and keep my rod tip low, like under these branches. And I just fling it downstream, use that water to load the rod.
tough part though is fighting these fish when you're smacked up against the bank like this. All right, so we were able to land this one. Nice, beautiful fish. Let him back in. But yeah, so when you're up against the bank like this, keep rod tip low, try to use water loaded casts, especially if you're tight lining and uh, fish way up ahead of you too, because a lot of times those fish are on that bank like they, you know, they normally would be, but you're walking on the bank. So you kind of got to fish up ahead of you a little further than you normally would. There's another one. The smaller fish. On the stonefly. There he is. Twelve incher. Well, I don't know how many fish I'll land here, but certainly try. I'm up on this uh I'm on the root ball of this big tree here, fishing out into here. This current is just ripping through here though. Super nice depth to this though. I'd like to fish this actually when it's a little lower and I can actually get out into it from that side. Nice pretty brownie. Nice fish. <clears throat> Oop, there he goes. That's a nice solid fish though, probably 16 inches. And uh, he was on the stonefly. But we're getting near um, the top of this run here, so we're probably gonna be calling it here soon. Hopefully maybe we can get into some last minute fish here. up again I haven't seen him doesn't feel too big though yeah it's just a smaller fish a little eight incher All right, this is actually pretty good fish, I believe. I uh, I got my nymphs up there and I was just getting ready to pull tight. And uh, this guy's on there.
you don't like my net i can't land this fish because these stupid trees are right here above me and i can't lift my rod any higher there he is and the fly popped out as soon as i got him in the net Another nice heavy fish. There he goes. <clears throat> that was probably a 16 incher. Yeah, I just literally cast it in right there in that turning water. You can see there's like a boulder eddy there. And uh, I was just getting ready to pull my nymphs tight and he was on there. All right, this is a big fish. This is a really big fish. I haven't even seen him yet. That was the biggest fish of the day. I didn't even get to see him. Nothing I can do. You can only chase the fish so far before you can't. I knew it. I knew he was gonna get off just because he's running way downstream. I can't run after him here. It's just, you just can't run after a fish here. And uh, yeah, that's a little mood dampener. Well, there's another fish, not monster but ah oh, man that sucks dude i know guys i know we caught tons of fish but i didn't even get to see that fish i know he was a monster i mean i could just feel the weight of that fish oh. this fish is on the tag there he is. All right, guys, that is gonna be it. Heck of a day, I actually don't even know what time it is yet. I still haven't looked at the time yet, but I'm gonna head out, I'm soaked, and I'm kinda getting tired already. I mean, we've just caught so many fish, and I've fished literally straight through since we got here this morning, and uh, heck of a day. Um, really good day, just numbers-wise, and I caught some uh, nice, like, 16, 17 inches throughout the day, like, pretty consistently. Hooked into some freaking giants, or well, one super giant, and that fish this morning was probably like an 18 incher. I would have liked to have landed both of them, but I mean, I'm definitely gonna be back here for that giant. I know where he lives now. It's it's a run. I know he, he lives in that run. Jeez, I just cannot believe that. Every every super big fish today, I just could not land. I'm gonna try maybe to come back next time and use my six weight rod up through here, and uh, you're an infant and um, just use a little bit heavier tippet. I mean, my four pound tippet didn't break ever, but that way, that way I know I can like horse the fish a little bit better uh, and get them in. But I don't know, I, I like I said, my hooks were sharp and we were catching a whole bunch of other fish. It's just for some reason, those big fish today were getting the best of me. And like I said, you really can't chase fish here. Um, there's some spots that you can chase fish, but most of the spots um, when it's at this flow and even when it's half this flow, it's it's kind of kind of treacherous. So on smaller streams and uh, just different streams other than this one, yeah, you can chase some fish, but it's just hard to hear, unfortunately. But I mean, that was just a freaking monster. I cannot believe that. But I, I mean, I was starting to work him in there too and get him towards the edge, but I knew as soon as he got downstream of me, like straight downstream, it was just game over and popped off. So, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up here. Hell of a day. 
And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And then leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. And if you want to see me come back after this fish here and see if we can land him. And then uh, just let me know any suggestions for future videos. Until next time, peace.